Now let us look at what is a strong entity. A strong entity. So an entity set which has a key is called strong entity set. You can say it like this. An entity set an entity set which has a key which has a key is called as is called as strong entity strong entity set okay you can say if, if, if an entity is having a key that means it is a strong entity for example if the entity is employee this is an entity which is representing an employee now for this employee we have an employee number as attribute we have the employee name as an attribute in the same way we have the employee salary as an attribute we have an employee salary as an attribute in these three attributes here employee number is a key attribute right and it can be used as a primary key for the relation which uh, for this ER diagram we are going to cover this ER diagram in relation and in that relation this key attribute can act as a primary key or a candidate key that we will see at later point of time so if you can say if there is an entity and if that entity has a key attribute then the entity is called as a strong entity so the next one is the weak entity set the weak entity set so weak entity can set can be defined as an entity set which does not have a key attribute is called as a weak entity set an entity set an entity set which does not have which does not have a key attribute a key attribute is called is called as weak entity set is called as weak entity set okay now assuming that this is one entity which is employee this is the another entity which is dependents dependents and this is the relationship like a relationship can be anything assume it is policy here it is policy like this okay so employee is having employee number as key attribute it is having name and it is having salary in the same for depart dependent we have dependent name and we have age now you can clearly see in case of depend in, in case of employee entity we have a key attribute which is the employee number but in case of dependent entity we don't have a key attribute right but in in this case for the dependent entity there is something called as a partial key here de dependent name can act as a partial key and what is a partial key if we use this partial key along with the key attribute of this employee then we can uniquely identify a dependent right so what is the use of the key attribute with the help of a key attribute in the relation we can uniquely identify every record right for example if you have a roll number in a school for a particular class you can use that roll number to uniquely identify a student in the same way but if i give you a dependent name so dependent like if it is a father father name is assume abc and he is having son or daughter or something so those are dependents on him or you can say the wife is also dependent on him so his family members are dependent so given an employee number or a given an employee you can easily uniquely identify the dependents all the dependents but given only the dependent names you cannot identify uh, the complete dependents uniquely or uh, separately right so you can see these dependents are depending on this employee so this relation this entity is a weak entity this entity is a weak entity and weak entities are generally denoted by denoted like this weak entities are generally denoted like this and here this relationship is acting as a identifying relationship it is acting as a identifying relationship that is why we are going to draw it like this and it is drawn like this okay so here it is a weak relationship weak relationship 
so we have to identify and here this is acting as a owner entity owner entity and this is a weak entity right so here this depend a dependent name is acting as a partial key right and here this partial key is acting as a discriminating discriminating attribute you can say the partial key are discriminating 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 attributes the partial key are discriminating attributes that means it is going to discriminate between different dependents here in this case for example given an employee and the given a depart dependent name you can discriminate or you can dif uniquely identify every uh, single dependent okay so that is why partial key is acting as discriminating attribute and this weak relationship set can be identified by the identifying relationship set and here this owner relationship set is also called as identifying owner right so uh, there are different names also in some books they can use different terminologies when we say weak relationship weak relationship is also called as also called as identifying relationship or identity identifying relationship set relationship set and when i'm saying owner relationship owner relationship is also called as identifying owner identifying identifying owner identifying owner okay and an owner entity set to the weak entity set is a cardinality ratio is one to many you can see for every employee here we can have more than one de uh, dependents therefore it is one to many relationship which we have here okay so you can write it down it is the owner entity set the owner entity set entity set to the weak relationship to the weak relationship set the cardinality ratio the cardinality ratio is one to many is one to many and the participation of weak entity set to the identifying relationship set is always total so because it is showing that it is total participation total participation so you can write it down it is the participation the participation of weak entity set of weak entity set to the identifying relationship set to identifying relationship set is always total it is always total that means we are always going to have a total participation and the third point is the weak entity is the ident identified using the partial key and the key of the owner entity right so you can say um i don't have enough space so let me write it here so third point is the weak entity the weak entity set is identified is identified using the partial key using the partial key of the owner entity set of the owner entity set of owner entity set okay now next look at the other other things 